My name is Mildred Bell, Mildred Barbara Bell, and I'm from New York. How about, uh, well, I've been living here for a number of years in this particular building, 2170. I've been here for since 1947. I came to Riverton. We heard about the project here, and uh, it was suggested by uh, my brother-in-law. He said, why don't you go over and check it out? They're building over there. And he came over, and honestly, he came back with a job. <laughs> so that's how it went. And we decided to come up. Had one child, a boy. So we brought him up. And after that, his sister came. <laughs> well, we were, you know, as a youngster, he was up at the Y. When he was 12 years old, he lost his mother. And he started going there. And he learned to play ball there and things. And he went on from there playing. He liked the game. He played well, and he was chosen. Bob Douglas had the Renaissance, the first team. Well, they weren't on that, Pop Gates and uh, my husband, Clarence Bell, John Isaacs. But they came after, and they traveled, did quite a bit of travel, went through all the mean things in the South, broke bread down there or tried. They had quite an experience going around like that. Well, my husband was on the police force for a while, too. He was chosen for that. And uh, he didn't stay there. He was busy with his ball playing and all of that. I remember one Sunday they had a big game at the Renaissance. And my husband was stationed there at 155th Street, 7th Avenue. They went up, got him, put him in the po patrol car, and brought him down <laughs> so he could play the game. It was quite exciting. <laughs> were playing ball was seasonal. They finished in March. He'd be out on the road. And when he came off the road, he waited to go back to the game again. So that's as I'm saying, his brother-in-law suggested that he come over and have a look-see, see what's happening. I know they're building over there. It looks like it's going to be great. And he did. And as again I said, he came and came back with a job. <laughs> On Saturdays, my husband visited the people who wanted to move in. And he'd go to their homes and visit and write them up and come back and give the report whether he felt they should come in or they should not come in. We have very many funny incidents happening, things that the wives or the husband have told the one or the other to do, and they didn't do it exactly that like they wanted them to do it. You know, they'd say, well, you know, Mr. Bell is coming here. We have to do so-and-so now. We want to impress him, you know. <laughs> and they'd do what they wanted to do and then get bowled out for it. But most of the people came in. A very few were rejected. I worked in the playground. I worked in the playground for 14 years. Dolly King and I were together. As a matter of fact, he was there uh, before me, but he suggested that I come in and join him, and that I did. And then after that, Pop Gates' wife, Cleo Gates, came in and joined. So we worked there together, and I'm saying for 14 years. So you know the children knew me. We had a preschool. It was quite a thing out there, really. It grew. And the particular kids that are talking to me today, like Glenn Hunter and things, they grew up here. You grew up here. They all grew married. All of this I witnessed. It was a community. We knew each other. As a matter of fact, we left our doors open. Now that's something I don't think you ever hear about today. Or we left our doors open, we run in and out of apartments like we live there. I think you can attest to that. It was just a very warm thing. 
and then aside from that, we were out there. We had things going for the kids out there. Sometimes we had the preschool, and we had the diff we had ball games going. We had different things, happenings, you see, and they don't have that today. Let's just listen, listen. This could go on, but as in the early years, uh, they were rather, or they tried their best to be very exclusive here. You know, the kids really, a lot of them weren't allowed in the playground. And then they got to the point where when you had visitors, even your family, they wanted you to go in the office. And uh, I don't know who set that up, someone down there. Uh, someone down in the office set that up. They had to get a card to tell them that the kids were visiting and they were the ones that were going in the playground. It didn't last too long, but they did it for a while. I suppose wanting to feel exclusive and Do that when, they, when you kids were little, you know, you knew something was happening. You knew something was happening there because they oh they're running. You kids are running little. They're little boys and girls. The Lincoln are coming. The Lincoln are coming. The Lincoln are coming. <laughs> And they'd run for their life over here. I mean, just things they had heard about it and things, you know, mm -hmm. running for dear life to get help over here. Mm -hmm. They became a part. They soon fitted in and became a part of Riverdale with our kids over here. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, that was it. They grew up here with our, and they became, you didn't know whether they lived here or they didn't live here. You know where they lived. Mm -hmm. But when they were friends with our boys and girls over here, that was it. Uh, and then I remember, well, she married Rat Brown, the, uh, Lynn, Doswell. Lynn Doswell. She was our Easter Bunny, uh, and she was about that big. She was the only one who could fit that suit. So we put her in it every Easter. <laughs> A yellow suit, only one. They lived in 55 or 65 down there, but that was our Easter Bunny. Yeah, Lynn Doswell. We did everything. Each holiday, we had a big extravaganza out there. Everything that came up, we took part in. And the people came out of the apartments to join us and watch the parade. Everything. Our Easter, Christmas, just every holiday, we had something going in the playground. And what's so very interesting, as they grew, as the children grew, moved away, married, had children. Now once a year, they come back and bring their families. And it's just wonderful. It's unheard of, really. I know of no other place like that. It's been a very nice life here, really knowing people, as I said, and watching the children grow up.